What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander Ayling if you're new here. Uh, it's been a wild couple of months, two months abroad, back in the United States, visiting family, all of the grandparents getting to meet Eliana. But we are back on the homestead and I've got a lot to catch you up on, so stay tuned. Is it just me or does it feel like it's been a while since we've had a sit down, catch up conversation? I tried my best to keep content coming out while I was on the road, but with a baby and family, we really just kind of focused on making the most of that time. Living down here in New Zealand with our family over in the United States, it was definitely an opportunity, especially with Eliana being young, little baby, first time meeting for some of our family members. We really just focused on spending as much quality time as we could and being present. The homestead was in good hands. Lanka was being watched with uh, all the rest of the farm animals. We had two great house sitters. Shout out to Samantha and Scott for taking care of the homestead and all of our little furry friends. While we were gone, Lanka is definitely stoked to have us back in the house. But overall, we had such a great time reconnecting with family, hanging out in California and Nevada, and just reconnecting with all of our friends and family over in the USA. We also had a super awesome road trip through Central California. If you have not seen the vlog that I shot from that trip, check it out. I'll link it in the cards here in the description and it's just over on the main page of the YouTube channel. I had such a great time shooting that travel vlog and it just really felt like the first time in a while that I really kind of got back into the groove of shooting and documenting a multi-day travel adventure. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's linked. And doing that trip led me to wanting to ask you a question. If you could choose one destination in the world right now that you would like me to travel to to shoot a multi-video vlog series, where would it be and why? Let me know down in the comments of this video because I really want to start planning more regular travel content. And when I do that, I really wanna have your input your feedback and your help to decide where I should go and why. So tell me your opinion down in the comment section. Once again, the question is, if you could choose one destination for me to cover in a multi-video vlog series, where would it be and why? But I guess the question that most people have been asking, I've gotten a lot of DMs over on Instagram about this, and that question is, how is it traveling with a baby? With you know, I guess a newborn. I don't know, is she a newborn? No, she's six months old. She just turned six months old. And that's insane in its own right. I feel like the last time we checked in about baby updates, I made a video of one month being a father. Now it's been six months, so much has happened. She has grown and evolved and changed and, and really just like flourished in so many different ways. And this was our first overseas trip, long trip with a baby and we learned a lot. So some of you have asked for me to make a traveling with a baby guide. If that's something you'd be interested in, drop that in the comment section as well. Let me know and I will make that video. It was actually a little bit easier than I thought it would be. I was slightly worried about the logistics. She's got travel in her blood and she did a great job throughout the trip. Road trips, you know, changing hotels and bedrooms and nap schedules and all that stuff. She handled it like a trooper. But when we finally did get home, I think all of us were pretty ready for a little bit of downtime and sleeping in our own beds. And I will say happily that I was not that person on the plane. Eliana seems to do pretty well on flights. Both of the flights were red eyes. The flights from New Zealand to the USA and the USA back to New Zealand, they're about 12 hours. And we got the seat that has a little bassinet and Eliana slept for like seven hours on each flight. So she did really, really well. 
and no major meltdowns, no screams, and we were pretty happy about that. But being back here on the homestead with a nice break has actually left me feeling more inspired to tackle more of the projects around this property. There's a couple of major ones that are at the top of the to-do list, starting with prepping and resealing and repainting the roofs of both the garage, which I actually just got finished, and the main house, which is definitely a bigger job and will probably require some help. We also have a ton of landscaping that we wanna do. We want to plant ferns. We want to replant some of the, uh, the gardens around the house, as well as the actual garden. But I'm pretty happy with the way that the garden has turned out. I planted a lot of seedlings before we left, and most of those now are coming in to harvest, which is great. We've had some really delicious heirloom carrots. We have garlic in there, we've got broccoli, cabbage, radishes, and it was great to be able to come home from being abroad and just have a thriving, vibrant garden full of delicious organic food. But what I think I'm most excited about in the next few months is the New Zealand winter being over, spring happening, and then getting ready for a big road trip around New Zealand in the New Zealand summer. Carrie and I have been talking about how badly we want to get back into the caravan and do full loop exploration of both the North Island and the South Island. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments as well, but that's definitely on the to-do list. I can't wait to travel New Zealand in the caravan, camping, surfing, and showing more of this beautiful country to my daughter Eliana, to both Carrie and I seeing new places, and then obviously documenting it all and sharing it with you in a new season of the Caravan Chronicles. So I guess I'm just feeling immense gratitude for this moment in life for where I am, for where our family is, for my family, my extended family. Life is, is short and it goes by quick. And I'm seeing that very viscerally with the growth of my daughter. It literally feels like she arrived here yesterday and it's been six months. Life goes by fast. So I guess I'm just feeling really good about where we are in life. I'm feeling re-inspired creatively to share more, to share more frequently, to try to add more value to the world in my own little way. And I wanna get back out into nature. I wanna document it for you. I was thinking if this is something that you're interested in as well, doing like a long form uh, natural places like ASMR video. I've had a couple of messages from people asking for that and it's something that I really want to do. I want to take my red cinema camera out into nature around New Zealand and just let it run for like two hours in 6k with good audio so that when you're chilling at home and you just need like an escape you can just press play on that and leave it you know on your TV in the background and just be in nature. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want me to start hiking out into the bush and capturing those moments, bringing them back and putting them up here on YouTube, then please do let me know. And then finally, I just wanna thank all of you who have purchased my travel itineraries. It's insane. I'm getting such great feedback from people who've bought the itineraries from around the world, New Zealand, Italy, Iceland, Lyon, France, California, Sydney, Australia, Bangkok, Thailand, the Thailand travel itinerary, so many different destinations, all of them places that I loved when I visited, as well as a ton of information, historical, cultural, culinary, all of that in one easy to follow itinerary laid out on an interactive map. And it makes me really happy when I get messages from you who've purchased the itinerary saying, I'm on it right now, I'm having a blast. Thank you so much for making this. It makes me wanna make more. So if there are destinations that I've traveled to that you'd like me to cover with itineraries and travel guides that I haven't already done, drop those destinations down in the comment section. And 
yeah, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be back here on YouTube and have more time to create and share. So with all that in mind, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the uh, concepts that I'm talking about here or the future content, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, dropping some comments down in the comment section. And yeah, let's stay in touch. I'll see you all very, very soon in the next video. Peace. Thank you.